Coming up on today's San Francisco 49ers report, I'm Chase Sr. Are Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch on the hot seat going into the 2024 season, which gets underway on Monday Night Football against the New York Jets? According to Grant Cohn, the 49ers front office not pleased with the Niners head coach and general manager. Here today, we are going to have a thought-provoking conversation. And speaking of today, here's our programming schedule for today and this week. The 49ers report will be going live 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 2.30 p.m. Pacific here on this Thursday, September 5th. And then we will be live on Monday Night Football against the New York Jets, 7.15 p.m. Eastern, 4.15 p.m. Pacific. Our pregame show taking us into kickoff, live play-by-play, -play, audience interaction, super chat giveaways. And if you haven't tuned in for one of our watch parties, it is the best place to experience a Niners game day outside of being at the actual game because there are members of the faithful, the Niner Empire, the Niner Gang, who hang out worldwide every pocket of America and beyond. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And by the way, thank you to all of the real ones because on yesterday's show, we picked up more than 300 new subscribers and we surpassed our goal of 138,000 subs. And if you're looking for Niners coverage every single day, shameless plug that's informative, insightful, entertaining, thought-provoking that involves you, just hit that subscribe button right now. So a very interesting report from Grant Cohn, who has a tremendous YouTube channel, The Cone Zone, and then covers the Niners additionally for SI Niners on the writing front. And he reported that according to a source that's close to the organization, the Niners front office and ownership is not pleased specifically with the spending of John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan. And per Cone's source, it is Super Bowl or bust for San Francisco going into this season. And here's a quote, and it's a juicy one. If it's bust, then heads will roll. Here's the entirety of the report from Grant, and he took to X to release this information. It's now the pin video on his X account, which has over a million views on this video alone, if you want to check it out for yourself. I have some breaking news, Grant started off by saying. I just spoke to a source who's close to the Niners, and this is exactly what he's told me. I'm hearing the front office is extremely upset with the current financial status of the team, with the salary cap and the IU can Trent Williams contracts. It's Super Bowl or bust, and if it's bust, then heads will roll. The Lynch and Shanahan regime is on the hot seat, and it's hotter than ever. This has been a big topic of conversation for fans media members, and content creators over the last couple of days. Grant had this report earlier this week, I believe, on Tuesday. I haven't been able to talk about it on the show because we've been pushing out a lot of content pertaining to the Niners salary cap situation, Niners Jets preview, and I just wanted to hit on it here on the show, and Grant is a friend of the show. I think he does a great job. There is a lot to take in here, of course. Let's begin with that. But led by John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, you think about where this Niners organization is right now, they're one of the most well-run organizations in the National Football League. So the thought of San Francisco not winning the Super Bowl here in 2024, given all of the success that the Niners have had over the last few years, and then Jed York moving off of the tandem of Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch would be crazy to me. And I think that it would be an absolutely asinine decision. It's not time for that. And The Athletic last week released an agent survey, and the 49ers tied with the Philadelphia Eagles as the most well-run organization in the NFL. I think that's really important because agents, usually outside of like Scott Boris and some other marquee agents, like to fly under the radar, right? But here they let their voices be heard. And when this is coming from agents, they represent players. And players are very fond of the Niners organization as a whole. So The Athletic putting together this poll from 31 different agents, which is the best run franchise. Philadelphia Eagles and the 49ers both getting five votes apiece. That's ahead of the Kansas City Chiefs, Green Bay Packers, Minnesota Vikings, Pittsburgh Steelers, Baltimore Ravens, Miami Dolphins, Houston Texans, Los Angeles Rams, Detroit Lions, Atlanta Falcons, Indianapolis Colts, and Buffalo Bills. You know who's not on that list? The Dallas Cowboys. Here's what two agents said 
about how this Niners organization is run and how other people view San Francisco. 49ers, the way they treat people and don't skimp on expenses. What are we talking about today? Ownership doesn't like how much money the Niners are spending. Come on, you can't get cheap now. They also added highly professional. Another agent, you have to fit in within their culture, but they allow players and employees to be themselves. And they can win even while getting the staff poached by other teams every year. How do you think that's possible? It's possible because of the leadership, the talent, and the vision of Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch. And I understand a lot of people take exception with Shanahan having so much power. It's very rare for a head coach to have roster control, sway in the organization, sway with contracts. Bill Belichick had that with New England. Andy Reid with Philadelphia and now Kansas City. But I think that Kyle Shanahan has earned that. And a huge takeaway from me being in Las Vegas, being around this team with so much pressure on the team going into the Super Bowl was that the 49ers culture put in place by Lynch and Shanahan is a tremendous culture. All of the players were enjoyable to talk to. They were very respectful with their time. They love talking ball. They love the process and the grind of being a football player. And I noticed that after a few interviews and being around the team for a few days, so I finally had to ask that question, why is culture important to sustain success? And from George Kittle and Nick Bosa, Debo Samuel, Trent Williams, and others, they were like, wow, that's a really good question. It starts, they said, with Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch. They let us be ourselves, but we have to police the locker room. But that comes with expectations of you have to love ball and you have to care about your craft and the team in order to survive here. The 49ers, if Jed York is worried about spending, are worth $6.8 billion. They are the sixth most valuable franchise in the National Football League. And last year in 2023, the 49ers generated over $500 million in revenue. San Francisco is a cash cow. A big reason for that? Winning. Yes, they do have five Super Bowl championships in franchise history. They have an iconic brand, an iconic logo. They have a fan base that is present, loud, and represents all around the world. I take a look at the analytics on this YouTube channel here on the Niners Report. People literally watch this show from everywhere. And a big reason for that is when the NFL was starting to take off and gain popularity in the 1980s, that's when the Niners under Bill Walsh became a dynasty that carried over into the 1990s. But you also think about the revenue generated when the 49ers are able to make deep playoff runs. They sell a lot of merchandise. And when they host playoff games, that's more games on the schedule and a lot more money and a lot more cash that San Francisco is able to rake in. So if you want to continue to make money, you want to continue to win, Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch have won a lot for this Niners organization. What's also interesting about this report is that Jed York just signed John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan to contract extensions 12 months ago. And those contract extensions keep Shanahan and Lynch with the Niners, I believe, through 2026 or 2027. And per Sportico, Jed York paid up a pretty penny for Kyle Shanahan. He's making $14 million per season. That is top five among coaches in the NFL. And John Lynch got a title promotion on top of his extension. So if Jed York doesn't like the salary cap situation and he doesn't like how expensive this Niners roster is, homie, you're signing the checks. You are okaying these deals. You were the one that signed the contract and put the fine print and the final signature on the Brandon Ayuk deal and the Trent Williams deal. If you didn't want to sign those players to those contracts, especially for Brandon Ayuk, why don't you just trade Brandon Ayuk away? So Jed York is the one who's okaying these expenses. And when you look at the Niners' salary cap situation right now, according to Spotrack, $45.57 million for this year on the cap, 
And then over the cap, this factors in the Debo restructure, Malik Collins restructure, and the Trent Williams renewed contract. San Francisco has the most cap space in the NFL at $65.4 million. Now, next year, they are well over the cap, north of $30 million over the cap, but this money can be rolled over to next year to help absorb that. And even if you eat that $30 plus million, you still have plenty of cap space left and you can restructure contracts, you can trade players, you can cut players, you can guarantee money, you can backload deals in order to free up more money on the salary cap. And I get it. I know a lot of people are already in the comment section right now saying, Chase, you can talk for as long as you want about this report and you can give your reasoning for why Jed York shouldn't move off of Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch. They haven't won a Super Bowl. Yes, I know. The ultimate goal is to win a championship. The Niners, though, have been on a great run. Four NFC titles and two Super Bowls over the last five years. They have been a very successful organization, and it's not like Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch are the only head coach general manager tandem for this team to not win a Super Bowl. San Francisco has not won a Super Bowl since 1994, and this current run, this current regime, I believe, has done more and has had more success than Jim Harbaugh's era with the 49ers. So this is the most successful head coach general manager pairing that this organization has had since Bill Walsh was the head coach of the Niners, pretty much. So Jed York better be careful. And you better be careful what you ask for. Because after you let go of Harbaugh, the seats were empty, the fan base was fed up, the team was shitty, the results were bad. Do you want to go back to the Jim Tom Sula and Chip Kelly days? That era was a complete disaster. And if you fire Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, I think the karma could come back and you could fall back into that really lonely era. If the Niners win a Super Bowl with Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, Shanahan, just with one Lombardi trophy, just with one ring, becomes one of the most influential offensive minds and one of the best coaches in the history of the National Football League. He's this close, and I think that if you hold on to Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, they're going to be able to get the job done. So with that, we still have plenty more to get to here on the show. This is today's poll question. What say you? Should John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan be on the hot seat going into 2024? Type Y for yes or type N for no. Our sponsor for today's 49ers report, our friends at Prize Picks, America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active members. Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Unlike other apps on Prize Picks, it's just you against the numbers. All you do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and you watch the winnings roll in. Get in on the daily action with your friends and become part of the Prize Picks community today. And if you sign up today, you get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Some of our selections for week one, Caleb Williams. This is a special throughout the entire month of September. Take it every week, more than a half passing yard. Christian McCaffrey, more than 115 and a half rushing and receiving yards. And then Brandon Ayuk, if he plays, he's going up against Sauce Gardner. Great matchup there. More then four catches. Then Brees Hall, more than 63 and a half rushing yards. That Niners rushing defense struggled last year, and now they have a new defensive coordinator. So pick more, pick less, pick prize picks, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, and that deal. Sign up today. Get $50 instantly when you play $5. We'll put that information down below in the comment section and in the description of this video. Prize picks, run your game. Now, going back and circling back to what I had said before we gave a shout out to Prize Picks, remember how bad that post Jim Harbaugh era was? A complete disaster. Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, when they were hired in 2017, following the tenures of Jim Tom Sula and Chip Kelly, they had to rebuild the Niners. I mean, they ripped everything down to the studs, down to the foundation, and then they built it back up. And it took some time. 
But right now, the Niners are a high-level football operation. And it starts with the head coach and the general manager. You look at the Lynch and Shanahan era. That first year, they go 6-10. and 10. They trade for Jimmy Garoppolo late. He goes on that five-game winning streak. Things are looking up in 2018. Jimmy Garoppolo tears his ACL. Niners go 4-12. and 12. Jimmy Garoppolo gets healthy. He comes back. 2019, number one seed in the NFC. Home field advantage through Levi Stadium. <clears throat> Revenue. 13-3. and three. The Niners were that year, and they lost the Super Bowl to Kansas City in 2020. Injury-ravaged season, 6-10. and 10. 2021, Niners started 3-5. and five. At that point, the seat was hot for Kyle Shanahan. Then they turned things around. They finished 10-7, and seven, and they made it to the NFC Championship game. In 2022, 13-4, number two seed in the NFC. They lose in the NFC title to Philadelphia. If Brock Purdy didn't get hurt, what would have happened? And then in 2023, for the second time under Lynch and Shanahan since getting hired in 2017, the Niners were the number one seed in the NFC, home field advantage through Levi Stadium, <clears throat> revenue, and they lose in the Super Bowl once again to Kansas City. Remember when everybody was bagging on Kyle Shanahan for having that below 500 record? Well, thanks to the last three years, he is now 64-51 and 51 as the head coach of the 49ers. If he were to get fired, I guarantee you this, he would be scooped up the next day for another team that has a head coaching opening if he wanted that job. Shoot, it might be hours before Kyle Shanahan, who loves ball, finds another job. That's exactly what happened with Andy Reid when he got fired by Philadelphia. And speaking of Andy Reid, offensive mastermind, very influential to the offensive style of football. Same thing can be said for Kyle Shanahan, modern day. Andy Reid, obviously, a part of that modern day. Andy Reid was in Philadelphia for 14 years. He made it to five NFC Championship games, only made it to one Super Bowl. Philadelphia moved off of him. Kyle Shanahan needs some leeway here because I think that the Niners are very close to winning a Super Bowl. Shanahan has had a very similar tenure to Andy Reid. Smart offensively, offensive play callers, able to maximize quarterbacks, able to maximize offensive weapons, and they consistently came up short in some of the biggest of games. But now Andy Reid is going for three straight Super Bowls, and if he wins another ring, it'll be his fourth? He's right up there with Bill Belichick and Bill Walsh as one of the best coaches in the history of the National Football League. And you think about why the Niners are at this point and why the Niners have an expensive roster. They've drafted premium players. They've developed premium players into all pros. And when you have all these high-level players on your team and you are a destination and you want to be a consistent, sustainable winner, you're going to have to pay in order to keep that team on the field. Kyle Shanahan, one of the best offensive minds in football, and that will continue to be the case, and that's why every single year, San Francisco has a shot. Now, this isn't everything, but it's certainly something, and it goes to show you the nuanced brilliance of Kyle Shanahan offensively. Yards after the catch per completion since 2018. The Niners have been number one every single year in the NFL. So when it comes to play calling, play designing, maximizing offensive players, putting them in a position to succeed, Kyle Shanahan has really been one of one, and we are right now in this offensive-laden era. Again, Kyle Shanahan is not without shortcomings. He is not without flaws. He has come up short in some big games. But how about the comeback against Green Bay? How about the comeback against Detroit? How about some of these big-time wins and big-time situations? I know he hasn't won the Super Bowl. He's 0-2 as a head coach in Super Bowls. But he's a really damn good head coach. In fact, I think he's elite. So I would be surprised if this were true, that Shanahan and Lynch were realistically on the hot seat going into this year. And then you think about the future of this organization. Brock Purdy is going to want a new deal. Next offseason, 
He's in line to receive that. You're going to sever the Shanahan Brock Purdy combination. What you need to be successful in the NFL is a good quarterback and a good head coach. You currently have that with the 49ers. Who else are you going to hire who's going to be better? Who else are you going to hire who's going to allow you to have more success than what you've had over the last five years? The 49ers have dished out a lot of money because they have great players. That is a good problem to have. That is not a bad problem to have. So I wanted to hit on that report here on today's Niners report. We'll catch you live here a little bit later today. Let me know what you think about this. Give me a follow on X. Give me a follow on Instagram at Chase underscore senior. And thanks as always for watching.